The computerized contour reader allows users to quickly and accurately take measurements of their traces and store them without the clutter of manual overlays. In this demonstration, we'll show you how to take radius measurements on the trace file. The software provides instructions for every step of measurement you're taking. The user has selected radius mode, and at the bottom of the screen, it's showing each step in that measurement process. Here you'll see the user reset the zero to the center of that last radii and switch to horizontal length mode, allowing the user to check the horizontal length to any feature he wants, in this case, to the center of each radii already measured. As you can see, in a fairly short amount of time, the user has measured six radii and the length between them. Next, we'll show you how you can perform the same measurements over and over again very quickly using a set of stored measurements. Next, the user will load the file containing the stored measurements and initiate the sequence to step through each measurement one at a time. As you can see, with each click of the mouse, the next measurement is taken within the sequence of stored measurements. All of the measurements for our trace file are now complete, and they were all generated from a stored measurements file. The speed of this process can be greatly increased by removing the pause between measurements. As you'll see here, once the pause is removed, and the sequence is initiated, all of the measurements are done at one time. Tracing threaded profiles is another common use of the contour reader. In this next example, we'll open a trace file of a threaded profile. Oftentimes the part being traced is not level in the machine. This results in an out of level trace. This is no problem as we use the baseline feature to level off the trace. Next we'll measure lead. In order to measure lead, we'll need to create intersections on two consecutive threads. Once the intersections are complete, we'll set our zero at the bottom of one of the intersections. We'll go select horizontal length mode and we'll measure from the bottom of one intersection to the bottom of the other and we'll have our lead. Measuring vertical height is just as easy. It will measure from the zero point to the feature you choose. Another great feature of the computerized contour reader is the ability to import masters. Master overlays can be created for common parts. These overlays can be as simple as the basic part profile or more complex overlays which include tolerance lines for upper and lower boundaries of different features. Once the overlay is imported, we'll jog the trace and overlay together to try and get a perfect lineup. The settings for jog increment will need adjusted smaller as you get closer so you can fine tune your overlay. As you can see here, we're zoomed in at 200x, and we have the trace and overlay very close to each other. By setting upper and lower tolerance boundaries, 
we can have the trace compared within the overlay and the boundaries set to see if any part of our trace falls outside of those boundaries. As you can see here, only the start of the trace on the plug gauge shank falls outside of our limits. All of the thread elements fall within the limits set and we have a good part. Contact us today for more information on a new contour reader with computerized software or upgrading your existing contour reader to a computerized version. For more information, please call 440-953-3300 or visit us at our website www.pmcloanstar.com.